Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Crusader Kings 2. We're playing on the Game of Thrones mod as Daenerys Targaryen, House Targaryen. Welcome to the start of a brand new series. Guys, I want to make a deal with you firstly. If this video can hit 500 likes within 24 hours, I will do a double upload here today and release the second video instantly. If not, you just have to wait a little bit longer for that second episode. But welcome back to some more Crusader Kings 2. Welcome back to the Game of Thrones mod. I'll put it in the description below for you guys to download and play along with me. So I'm so excited today. The new seasons of Game of Thrones is going to be coming out and I thought we'd start a campaign series with with Daenerys and uh, play along with the release of the new series. Man, I've been a Game of Thrones fan for so long and I never thought that a series would captivate me as much as like Lord of the Rings, but man, I love Game of Thrones. I can't wait to get stuck into this series. So we're going to be playing on the Clash of Kings scenario because I was umming and ahhing whether or not to go with Daenerys in the Feast for Crows scenario, but she's already in Marine. I have a plan that I'm going to go to Pentos, then I'm going to sail over with Aegon. I'm going to probably kill him and uh, push over and take the Seven Kingdoms with Daenerys a little bit earlier in the War of the Five Kings scenario. Now there's a lot of text with Daenerys which is a pain in the ass that we have to sort of read and go through. So the Mother of Dragons here, I am the rightful queen, okay that's fine. House Targaryen has ruled Westeros since Aegon's conquest. We unite the Seven Kingdoms into one. We built King's Landing, we forged the Iron Throne, and we will not let our birthright slip away. Slip away. Fire and blood, we get a strong claim for Dragonstone, which is really cool. So here is Daenerys, 15 years of age. We're obviously going to be invading a lot earlier. It always kind of pissed me off that Daenerys just didn't go to Westeros until, like, it took so long in the book. She's still fucking in Marine, buggering about. So we're in the War of the Five Kings scenario. Joffrey Baratheon, Joffrey Waters is in the Crownlands. We've got Stannis in Storm's End. We've got Doran in Dawn. We've got Mace Tyrell in the Reach. We've got Tywin in the West. We've got the Stark and Tully Alliance in the, um, the North and the Riverlands. We've got Robert Aaron in the Vale. And then, of course, we've got... Balon Greyjoy in the Iron Islands. Okay, so firstly, like I said, there's a lot of text with Daenerys. We want to try and sail over as quickly as possible. Um, we're gonna wrap, we're gonna sort of buddy up with Illyrio, Monpatis, and Viserys, and then I think I'm gonna kill Aegon and then marry Daenerys off to a good Westerosi uh, husband. Okay, right. So we've got we need a new steward who's a really good steward for us. Let's go with Alex here. Al Ix. Al, I guess. So, okay, we've got Vermon is my diplomat. Do we have a better diplomat? No. Jorah Mormont is our chief general. Can I visit his chamber? No, I can't. I want to try and get as many children with Daenerys as possible. Valar is our treasurer. Can't really go through anything else just yet. Minor titles. My designated reg regent should be Jorah. We need bodyguards, so let's chuck in Jorah and probably some of the uh, Dothraki. Those guys will help us out. I don't particularly want to go too far through this, like the musician, the poet, and the architect, because we will have to redo this all again once we sail over to the Seven Kingdoms. I want to try and get a loan from the Iron Bank at some point. But we'll just sort of leave it at that for the time being. So we currently have strong claims on the Iron Throne, Dragonstone. And, okay, that's it. What else can we do here? No heir to our dynasty, lost in succession, unmarried ruler. No one wants to marry Daenerys at the moment. She's only 15. She can legally be married, I'm pretty sure. No, we can't marry her off. Maybe we can betroth her. No. Okay, let's uh, get ready to start the series then, I guess. Okay, let's sort of skip things up a bit. So, my liege, your law, your wisdom, and... Okay, right, that's Mormont saying something. Okay, we just need to wait for these scripts to come out because we have the whole House of the Undying thing. I am no child. We have to have the shade of the evening. Okay, you find yourself in a stone uh, into room with four doors. Okay, so we can either go left, middle, or right. Let's go left. We lose one intrigue. Let's go right. We get more intrigue. So this is just basically, she's going through the House of the Undying. I don't want to read through all this crap because it takes so long. I just want to get stuck into the campaign. So we're going through the House of the Undying. Depending on where you go, you can get better traits. So we've got more learning as well. Okay, so you enter the stairwell. My dragons must not be afraid. So we've got those guys. Um, the blue heart. 
I have come for the gift of truth. Help me show the prophecy. And then she sees the prophecy of... Um, I think there's seven beast things, seven humans like ripping apart a course of Westeros, that's what the thing is. Dracarys, that's cool. Uh, Death of the Undying, never was a sound so sweet. Okay, the Silver Bell. So now we have a option. With your last friend in Karth, a friend no longer, you hurry to the docks where Sejora has been searching for ships. Ships you find, but allies also. A huge eunuch named Strong Belwas and his squire, Artisan, who interviewed to save you from the assassin instead of Sebariston uh, in the show. They will explain... I'll also explain who Aegon is, because some of you might not actually know who that is. Um, they explain that they've been sent from an old friend, Illyrio Mon Patis, with three ships to carry her back to Pentos. So we can accept... Um, Zario's offer, or whatever his name is, or we can go t with um, Strong Bellwas, Strong Bellwas, Bellwas, and um, Illyrio. So we're going to do that. We're going to sail to Pentos now, but we can always betray um, Aegon. I will explain why. So Slavers Bay, it is good to be Khaleesi. I know it. So we can go to Astapor. No, a foolish notion. I must go to Pentos. So now we can go to Pentos with the Golden Company and we can push over. Okay, my nephew. After a long and perilous journey, Strong Belvos has finally taken me to Pentos. Here, Illyrio takes me and my followers into an expensive... Uh, rah, 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 treats of courtesy... Rah, 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 rah. Uh, he soon reveals his plan. He claims my nephew Aegon is alive and was not killed all those years ago during the Usurper Rebellion. Apparently, he's kept um, him safe here in the East and such a time he can sadly trace, uh, move over with the support of the Golden Company and the Dragons. He proposes, I marry my nephew in return. The Golden Company in Pentos shall help me invade rest Westeros and invade uh, and reclaim my birthright. I have no choice. So, now we have 12,000 units along with the Pentos army. And now Daenerys Targaryen is married to Aegon. So, in the books, um, in the show, I don't think it's even a spoiler now. They they said I'm pretty I'm positive they said they weren't going to do Aegon in the show. But basically, what happened is in the books, um, supposedly Aegon is the son of Rhaegar Targaryen and Ilya. Ilya, can you remember when Gregor Clegane smashed Ilya Martell, absolutely wrecked her and killed the child? But apparently, the child escaped with the help of Varys and was raised in Pentos. And there was the whole John Cunnington thing here as well. Now. The now that they're not doing it in the show, it's a, it's heavily implied that Aegon isn't. He's just a he could be a bastard Blackfire. He could be the son of Illyria Monpatis or Viserys. There's this really cool theory that um, Varus is actually a Targaryen. That's why he shaves his head because he's got silver white hair. No, he doesn't want anyone to find out. So he could be a Blackfire. So I'm going to go with the assumption that Aegon isn't Rhaegar's son. He is a Blackfire. And I want to try and kill him off. I only just went here because Daenerys thought, you know what, I can use Illyrio, Varus, and Aegon and the Golden Company to my advantage. I'm going to help them let me take the Seven Kingdoms, march upon King's Landing, up the Black Water, and then we'll kill Aegon off and we'll marry Jorah or we'll marry some Westerosi. He does have Blackfire, though. Does he really? Huh. I think we're going to get rid of him. That's what I'm sort of thinking of. Okay, so we currently have 12... Wow, 12,000 units here. We also can raise up as well another fair bit. So let's rally up here. Let's give Jorah the command. Let's also give you the command as well. I want to try and sail over to Westeros as quickly as possible. So we have 80k in the... Sorry, yeah, 80 gold in the bank. We're going to be losing that a fair bit. So what I want to do is I want to ask the Iron Bank for a loan. They'll give me 50 gold. That will help us um, supply this army. So we can buy on Sullied. What else can we do? Delegate, the White Book, Valyrian Swords. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that's cool. Right, we need to move my ship to Pentos itself. An old man by the name of Whitebeard has been serving. Okay, so Sebariston wants to help out. Sebariston, I accept your service. Excellent. What is his command? 26. So Barriston, sell me. Barriston the Bold will be taking uh, one of the flanks. I need to quickly go into my offices if I can. We'll get rid of you then. And we'll chuck. We need Sebariston in, you know. We, we also can get John Connington to help us out. 
Okay, we definitely should uh, do that then. Okay, so we'll let Sebaristan command the center. We'll let Jorah command the right, and we'll let Connington command the left. So we've got 26, 21, and 20. Man, that is a hell of a host. Okay, we can't move everyone into the ships just yet. So, we'll rally up, we'll embark you on here. We're going to have to keep on splitting this up because we're only just a little bit uh, shy over the the unit count. Why can't we pop that in there? Right, this has been a pain in the ass. For some reason, I can't split this army, army any further, which is a fucking pain. Um, put uh, Connington there. Yeah, so I can't get this 3,000 over. God damn it. We're still at... So, we're at war with... Joffrey, Stannis, Rob and stuff. We need to get these guys to King's Landing as quickly as possible. So let's move over there then. Let's move to King's Landing. We'll get the, those 3,000 reinforcements. Okay, if Daenerys has a child with Aegon, we'll kill the child as well. I'm just sort of seeing where this army's going because we don't want to be anywhere near that stack. Once we start sieging King's Landing. Okay, we need to move now. We need to make a move. Okay. Come on. We need to move. We've got no one on this army. We need to head back and get that other 3,000. We can't storm the castle just yet. The quicker we can take King's Landing, the better. How far away are you back? You're at Pentos. Alright, you need to merge up then and get back here as quickly as possible. Can we take King's Landing? Not yet. Because we're going to have to storm the gates. So Jorah, John Connington, and Sir Barristan Selmy are besieging King's Landing. The Lannisters have about 6,000 nearby. We're about to get an additional reinfor reinforcement soon of 3,000. 21,000 Lannisters there. Come on. Okay, so Stannis is fighting... Who's he fighting here? Westerland troops. Okay, merge up. Give... Uh, we need to put Connington on the right. Man, this is going to be risky. This is sort of make or break. We're going to disband the ships because we're going to need to pick an ambition. I want to have... Um, see our house on the Iron Throne. Let's do that then. Because I reckon we're about to take it any moment now. Uh, excellent. Come on. I've grown increasingly attracted to Aegon and thought our marriage was merely a practical arrangement. I wonder if I have now come to love him. This marriage is for love, but all but all the other boys. Lustful. I shouldn't concern myself with such trifles. But all the other boys. Let's gain the lustful trait. So Daenerys, I think that means we can have um, we can visit other people's chambers and stuff. Okay, send them to the dungeon. Have we taken King's Landing now? We have. We've taken King's Landing. Let's demand Joffrey. And I think, yep, the war is over. We've taken, well, the war with Joffrey in the Crown Lands. We have now taken King's Landing. Let's rally up the garrison within King's Landing in the Crown Lands. So let's move them back. Oh, I think we've uh, won there. Daenerys... Queen Daenerys Stormborn has fulfilled her ambition to see the, her house on the Iron Throne. Okay, so we've got Joffrey, we've got Marjorie, we've got Marcella, Tommen, Tyrion, Lancel, Tyrek, and CR. Who the hell is this? Oh, that's Joffrey's daughter. Ah, oh, that lucky bastard. I, sh um, I shall judge his family justly. Okay, so Preston Greenfield, let him be. Meryn Trant, he's not fit to serve the King's Guard. Amandon Moore, he's not fit to serve the King's Guard. Ares Okart, uh, leave him be. Sandor, leave him be. And then get everyone to King's Landing as quickly as possible. Let's do a save. I'm going to have to go through 
all the um, the stuff anyway. Like these are all the Stannis saves, as you can see with the different times. But for some reason they've been like textured for Targaryen. I'm not entirely sure why. I'm happy that I didn't do the council positions all back in Pentos because I had to redo it now anyway. It takes a little while and it's a little bit boring instead of doing it twice. So I've actually gone and just quickly done it off camera. I'll go through the Hand of the King, Master of Law, and the positions in a minute. But we have to go through some of the important decisions. So we want to try and get this coronation done as quickly as possible. And we also want to move to King's Landing. What else is here? Pick an ambition. We've just gone through... Yeah, we just did the Iron Throne once. Let's fall... Oh, should we fall in love or try and have five children? Try and have five children. Let's do that. So let's go through Daenerys' traits. She's lustful, wrathful, and trusting. What about Aegon? Brave. He's a good fighter. He has Blackfire. The thing is, I'm sort of umming and ahhing whether or not to imprison uh, Aegon. Get him killed off and then we can marry some Westerosi. With Daenerys. We can plot to kidnap 78, 83, or we can imprison straight out. 81% chance, tyranny. But I do want Blackfire as well. I believe Aegon not to be the son of Rhaegar, my nephew. So let's imprison him. He has been in prison. Aegon is now safely locked away in my dungeon, awaiting his fate. Excellent. That was not a just act. I don't think it was. Let's go through the dungeon now. So let's execute Aegon. Let's behead him. A small privy. Your husband Aegon has died. By the laws of inheritance, you will receive Blackfire. So we've still got Joffrey, Lancel, Marcella, Joffrey's daughters, Ciara, Ciarana, and Tyrek. Let's get rid of the other claimants. So, oh. Yeah, I think I've done something else there. We need to get rid of the children. So, let's execute them. Let's execute, we've already done that. Let's execute Joffrey's daughter. Behead. And let's execute... I think that's it. So who's left in the dun dungeon? Lancel, Tyrek, and Tyrion. I think I'm okay with that now. Okay, so now we have Blackfire. We need Daenerys to get married off as quickly as possible. Can we do that now? No, we're going to have to wait, I think, for it to sort of trickle through. Right, okay, so we've got Jorah, Mormont is the Hand of the King. Renford of, Ry uh, sorry, Renford of Duskendale is the Master of Law. Barristan the Bold is our Men at Arms. We've got Pataya Littlefinger, Pataya Baelish, Peter Baelish, um, Littlefinger. And then we've got Varus, the Master of Whisperers. Jorah is our designated regent. <laughs> I made Strong Belwas the um, Commander of the Gold Cloaks. So I thought that would be quite funny. Barristan's Master of the Hunt. Connington's my Paramount Knight. We've also got uh, a lot of commanders here. Anything else to really take note of? Not really. We want to try and merge up at King's Landing as best we can. Let's put Rolly there. Let's chuck Belwas. We want everyone to rally up to King's Landing because we're still at war with Stannis and we're also at war with Rob. Tommen defeated, brought to you. I thought we got rid of Tommen. I sh um, throw him in the dungeon. Lancel. Throw him in the dungeon. Throw Tyrion in the dungeon. All hail the grace. Long live the queen. Daenerys. Tyrek. Sorry. Let's throw him in the dungeon. Marjorie can go in the dungeon as well. Let him rot. Okay. Time has passed. Yet the world seems unreal. It is yet... What? Okay. It is that my... Life without Aegon is a mummer's farce. Ironic, because Aegon was probably the mummer's farce. I'm lost in a sea of loneliness and know not where to turn. So we can lose yourself in books, seek solace with another. I think we're better off doing that. Let's go with that then, and try and get her married off. Okay, so we've got a vacancy on the King's Guard. Let's go with Duck. What was his name? Rolly Duck. Uh, time slips, I feel old, wounds, wielding, widowed. Okay, right. We need to get Daenerys remarried off as quickly as possible. Let's execute Tom and then. Let's behead him. And Marjorie and Lance are still in the dungeon. So can Daenerys get married off now? She can. We can... <laughs> we can actually marry her off to Jorah. Are you kidding me? Let's do that then. That'll be great. Let's do that. Let's marry her to Jorah. He can fulfill his fantasy, I guess. Get everyone to rally up at King's Landing. We've even got some here in the fingers. We don't have any in uh, Pentos. Alright, cool. Let's do a save then, after that. 
Oh, okay. I also want to try... Uh, the thing is, right, we lose if Daenerys dies. So we need children as best as we can. So let's go with this. We'll sort by mail and we'll go by court. And I just want to try and... And just try and get a son. So can we... We can't visit chambers of you. We can't visit the chambers of you. With you. We can't get impregnated by a dragon, can we? <laughs> Um, no. Virus is a eunuch. So it doesn't look like we can do any of this stuff just yet. Barristan, maybe. Jorah, we can't. Maybe just let it go a bit. Queen Daenerys, Targaryen, and Sir Jorah Mormont have gotten married, and it is customary to pay the dowry. Oh, that's cool, is my duty. Right. <laughs> look at Jorah. Oh, he's got a crown as well. A vacancy on the King's Guard. Let's just go with Buckwell. No, we don't, he doesn't want to join. Okay, we're rallying up at King's Landing still. We still need to take out Stannis and Rob Stark, who are at war with. Whoops, I accidentally clicked that. Jorah, come on, we need to get some children as quickly as possible. So maybe we're actually better off, like... Hang on a minute. What we can do is we can get a... A courtier. A merciless warrior. Donald Roth. He's he's a King's Lander. I shall make Donald a commander. Can we visit his chambers? Excellent. Let's give him a bit of a tumble. I went to Donald's chambers and gave him a tumble. The thing is, right, if Jorah and Daenerys actually have children, we can always kill this guy off. The son, it's good to be queen. Right, we need children. We need as quickly as possible. We need... To, it doesn't matter who we hook up with. We just need children as quickly as possible for Daenerys. So we can't visit his chamber. You're going to have to hurry up, Mormont. <laughs> can't do a visit chamber. I don't really want to have a Dothraki child again. That didn't work out so well. Pycelle. Pycelle can give me a tumble. We're not doing that. Um, who is he? Vale Vailman. Maester Florian. Let's do that then. What is he though? Gluttonous, shy, diligent. That's fine. As long as someone... Gives Daenerys a bit of a tumble. We need... We, the thing is, right, at the moment, we, we... If Daenerys dies, we lose the game. So we can't afford that to happen. So Riker, want to give me a tumble? No. Nah. Tyrek, you're imprisoned. Probably doesn't want to give me a tumble. Uh, what are you? From uh, Karth. He's only 10. Lance or Tyrion. <laughs> we don't want to do that. Uh, what about Connington here? Point to the King's Guard, no. So that, that'll do. We'll rally up now. Hopefully Daenerys can fall pregnant. The quicker the better. Uh, give me the knights from the powerful houses. Baywater doesn't want to join. Okay, 20,000 is plenty to storm something. Oh my god, I don't want Daenerys to fight. I'm pretty sure dragons are really overpowered in this mod, but I don't know if I don't... I don't know. I've never played with Daenerys before, like I said, so I don't know if they activate if I don't fight with her. Let's head down and try and get rid of Stannis. Today I was crowned by His Holiest, the Holiness the High Sept and formally received the title Queen of the Andals, the Rhoyna and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. So now we're officially Queen. Your Grace, I believe Sir Lancel has been... No. Kevin wants the custody of Lancel. No, you can fuck off. Um... Just a bunch of grumpkins and snarks in the north, I reckon. We need more men on the King's Guard. Right, Your Grace, uh, no. Get rid of this 2,000 here. We'll be laughing. The more we can get rid of, the better. I'm not going to bother with this right now because I need to go deal with it. Stannis is at 82% to capitulation. This is du this my duty. Queen Daenerys, I hold no personal grudge against you and hence offer peace on the following terms. Rob Stark will swear fealty to the Iron Throne whilst retaining the style... Ki okay, the style king in the north. All of Rob's bannermen shall swear fealty to Rob. His family and his bannermen shall have to return and pledge their peace. I don't know, should I let the north be free? Jorah Mormont is my husband. We do have that sort of connection with the Northerners. Um, I don't know. We need a child, though, as quickly as possible. Um, I don't mind, Rob. Sure, you can have the northern half of your kingdom. A fair offer we shall accept. 
So that makes us peace with the Northerners now, and we can focus our pure attention on taking out Stannis in Storm's End. And I have no ill will against Stannis as well. I'm quite happy for him to be Lord Paramount of, of Storm's End, you know? Right, he shall suffer the consequences. Let's probably give a couple another tumbles, I reckon. Uh, let's go by command. It's a Barristan. Can't do it, he's too old, probably. Uh, who was my other one? Who did we bring in? We brought in a, a commander, but he's not here. Maybe Florian, go back. No, we can't go to his chambers again. I need Daenerys to fall pregnant as quickly as possible. 49, we're only losing a little bit here. There's a lot in our lands here, sort of everywhere. You shall suffer the consequences. We're going to need those reinforcements, I think. Excellent. Roos Bolton swears fealty. He shall suffer the consequences. Oh, we actually lost there, I think. We'll manage, though. We'll be fine. How far until we can hit Storm's End and take out Stannis? Connington. Marry as you please, my friend. Alright, righteous imprisonment. Excellent. 1,700 there. Oh, shit. Moodiness and tendency to lash out. Stressed. Suffer the consequences. We need to get Daenerys married as quickly as possible, you know? We need children. I know it's a bit hard, because he's only got like a 50% fertility or something stupid. Alrighty, still sieging Storm's End. Nothing really much else I can do. I love how I got Blackfire though. <laughs> That's hilarious. Come on, Jorah, we need a child as quickly as possible. We haven't actually checked the other seven kingdoms. Robert's in the Vale. Hoster Tully's in the Riverlands. Rob Stark's in the North. Balon Greyjoy's in the Iron Islands. Tywin's in the West. Mace is in the Reach. Oh, incapable or unhuman. Shit. Doran's not looking too healthy. And Stannis is still about, isn't he? Okay, let's uh, continue on. He shall suffer the consequences. Yeah, we're sieging um, Storm's End. We probably should. We need to deal with this. The castle is impregnable. That'll do. Lancer has been dragged before the Queen. We'll let Sir Barristan. Oh, shit. Your watch... Okay, right, so... Um, Sir Barristan smashed <laughs> Lancel's champion. We'll send him to the wall. Okay, we need to deal with Stannis on the field here. Oh, no! Sir Barristan the Bowl has died. Died a natural death, 64. We need a new commander of the King's Guard. Man, Loras Tyrell's still on the um the council. Which is quite funny. Preston Greenfield can step forward. He shall suffer the consequences. We might need to go with a couple more tumbles in a minute. Alright. Aim for that. We need to get rid of this army first. And then we need to take out the army here in King's Landing. Kill those 4,000 with Stannis. Marjorie wants to come forward. Who shall fight for me? Not Jorah. we got Duck. We've got my lover. Oh, okay. That's cool. Um, 13 Marshal. Trained Fighter. I don't know if I should let him, or should I let Rolly Duck. We'll let Rolly Duck step up. She's been found guilty. We'll send her to the Silent Sisters then. We have... Uh, who did we just capture? We have tidings from King's Landing, Sir John, they fought fearlessly. Okay, so we got a prisoner. That's cool. 81% to capitulation now. Let him rot, Tyrion. Let's finish off these 500 here. Stannis still doesn't want to... No, surrender. We're just going to have to keep knocking out his armies, I reckon. 
We need to take out Storm's End. I have some new ideas. We need a new commander of the King's Guard. Riker can join if he wants. Alright, come on. Let's rally up here then. And just try and get this done. Oh, there's 2,000 there again. Go back and deal with that. We can't rally anymore, can we? Oh, wow. We can get a fair bit more, actually. Send them to King's Landing where we can. They're sieging us in the north. Can Daenerys go for another tumble with someone? So Donald Roth, we can visit his chambers. I went to Donald's chambers and gave him a good tumble. It's good to be queen. <laughs> Lord Loghain of Hayford, we can visit his chambers as well. Oh, he spurred my advances. We really just need to whore myself out, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I can't be bothered doing all this King start, King Guard, uh, Queens or King's Guard stuff, I guess. Sansa Stark is currently under my control. Um, it's not her fault. It really isn't. Oh dear, I'm with. Tr oh, okay. Oh dear, I must be with child. Will my husband believe this? So I suppose it's time to come. So. Right, Gaines pregnant, reacts to confession, perhaps... Okay, right. EV tooltip, what? I have to have some moon tea, perhaps Jorah doesn't know that. Okay, suppose it's time to come clean about the affair. I have to ask for some moon tea, perhaps, but Jorah doesn't know that. I don't want to go come clean about the affair, and I don't want to drink moon tea, so we'll just sort of let Jorah <laughs> blindfully accept it, I guess. Right, let's move these guys to Storm's End. Right, Tyrex been dragged before him for his cell. Let's let him face Loras. Right, and looks like uh, Tyrex is going to be sent to the wall as well. Right, send those 16,000 to Storm's End. Bunch of Grumpkins and Starks. My husband just stormed in, roaring and smashing chairs. He knows about the affair with Grand Maester Pycelle. He knows that the chariot I called is not his. Pycelle impregnated her. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. Because I did a couple off camera because I just tried to find some. The flesh is weak. So Pycelle, I think he's like 81. 85 impregnated her. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, we'll rally up here at Storm's End. We'll try and take that out. And then we'll send, um... Well, there's 4,000 there we need to get rid of. Try and hold that down. That should be it. 94 now. Enforce demands. We can't. We're still dealing with Stannis here. I'm half tempted to just split the army, you know. No, we need a, we need all of it, you know, to take out Storm's End. That's the thing. You, hmm. I don't want Daenerys fighting here, though. All right, let's try and take Storm's End. He shall suffer the consequences. We need this child to come out. 130 days, he shall suffer. Whoa, that's a big force there with Stannis, though. We're going to have to, um... Shit, what are the Starks doing? Oh, they broke their peace, did they, with us, the Starks? A son was born to Daenerys and Jorah of the Iron Throne, Harlan Mormont. But I think, yeah, Pi it's actually Pycelle's son. <laughs> we need a son, we can always get rid of him. Later on, but we can't afford to lose the game. So let's call him... Should we call him Rhaegar? I think we should call him Rhaegar. Let's do that. So we'll call him... Oh, I, that's that's a fucking joke. Right, Rhaegar. Yeah, he doesn't even have, like, silver hair. It seems the adventurous result of little Rhaegar is, is my spitting image. We can legitimize him or we can acknowledge him as my own. Let's uh, legitimize him because we need an heir. So we've got, we've got good old Prince Rhaegar Mormont, a bastard, a son of Pycelle, 
Man, he, he's pretty potent at his old age, I guess. I think there's Starks in that army. That's why, yeah, there's Northerners, Stormlanders. So it looks like the Starks... Oh, fuck, we're being besieged at King's Landing. Ten more days, we probably can end this war. You know, send them to the dungeon. 100%, yep, they've capitulated. Excellent, let's enforce the demands. The... <laughs> Yes! Fuck yes! <laughs> the Stannis Baratheon War for the Iron Throne has ended. Queen Daenerys of the Iron Throne has won. Ah, oh, excellent. Phew! That's gone and done. So does that mean... Yeah, so now the Starks are out of it as well. We still need to pick an ambition. I thought I'd have five children. Tame a dragon. Yeah, so I guess we still haven't tamed them. We need to have a daughter, you know? Okay, so... Can we give any more tumbles about? We can go to the chambers of Lord Commander Preston Greenfield. That might be an idea. There's actually a couple of options here. Adopt a maternal lineage. Mm, no. We can give we can give Jorah a dragon. I don't want to tame any of the dragons just yet, because I could like die from it. So I want to try I want da Daenerys to live a long and fruitful life as long as possible. We're gonna repay the Iron Bank loan that we took. Now, how can I... Yeah, I want to show the, show me the white book. So, these are the current members of the Kingsguard. We can't visit Sandor's chambers. We can't visit your chambers. Duck, we can't visit his. Greenfield, we could. Loras, can't as well. Jamie died, though. Hanged on the orders of Rob Stark. Really? That's cool. I think we probably should get another courtier, a courtier, so we can get... Oh, wow, we got some stuff hanging on here. So the war has been... Oh, these are the rebel armies. Oh, we'll deal with that in a second then. So the war has been won. The rebel armies have been crushed by your brave loyalists. Howland Reed is one of the traitors. Um, let's allow him to bend the knee. Let's let Rob Stark bend the knee, bend the knee, bend the knee, bend the knee. You can all bend the knee. Except for Stannis. Because... I don't know. Or should we have him imprisoned? Because Stannis is a fucking amazing commander, you know? Maybe having him executed... ...might be a better idea in letting um, his daughter Shireen take the Stormlands. I have no ill will against Shireen, but having Stannis, you know, like... ...he is a really, really tough commander, you know? Send him to the dungeon, I think. Allow everyone else to bend the knee, even the Starks. Your dragon Drogon is a ravenous beast. He regularly roams King's Landing, goring on livestock and peasants. Hundreds of them is okay. So he's a dragon. What do you expect? Five percent local revolt. I shall offer piety and a hundred gold. Let's do that then. So Massey has come to our court. Let's visit his chambers as well. We've got a lot of new. We basically just want to whore, whore um. Daenerys about as much as possible. King's Lander. Firing as well. Nope. Doesn't resist me. Florent. Spurred my advances. Jojen Reed. Maybe you're a bit of a... Yeah, Jojen Reed wanted a tumble. <laughs> Granigman even though. Brandon Stark has arrived at my court. Okay. Um, Reachman is as well. He refused. Titus Vena, Reachman as well. We're literally trying to bang everyone as best we can. Visit chambers with Fossaway as well. Surely one of them can get me pregnant. There we go. The Fossaways are into it. And I think we'll just sort of leave it at that. Any if there's anyone else really keen. No. Nah. So hopefully Daenerys will be with um, Child again. Wow. Okay. The war has ended, so I need to decide a new council. So the Westerlands are still claiming their independence thing. Same with the Greyjoys. Everyone else looks like they've really bent the knee to Queen Daenerys, her husband, Sir Jorah of the Mor Mormont Iron Throne, and then their son, Prince Rhaegar, a bastard of Pycelle. But once Jorah and Daenerys actually have some children, we'll keep them instead. Okay, um, what else can we do? We can redo the council positions. There's also... Yeah, we probably should deal with Stannis here today, actually. We shall call him for trial. Call Stannis for trial. 
Stannis has demanded trial by combat and is summoning his champion. Champion. He will remain. He's probably going to like. He's probably going to. Wait, what the fuck? Hang on a minute. I need to read that. So he's probably going to face for himself. What? So what the fuck was this? Your new child was born of incest. The faith of the seven will consider the child an abomination for all their days. What do they know? Gets grandchild of incest. Wait, what the fuck? I bumped my mic then. Right, okay, so your new child was born of incest. The faith of the seven will consider the child an abomination. Um, I'm positive that Pycelle doesn't have Targaryen blood. <laughs> I actually don't know much about Pycelle. He could be related to the Targaryens, but I don't think he is. That's the only way he could be incest. Or, they think that Rhaegar is Aegon's son. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Jorah hasn't had any children. Right, this is what we were waiting on. A month has passed and Lord Stannis has failed to find a champion for his trial by combat. Now, he must stand trial before the court. Lord Paramount Stannis of the Stormlands has demanded a trial before the court, which Sir Jorah shall oversee to ensure his justice means so he's be... right, he's gonna be preparing his defence. Right, he made a poor case. The verdict has been reached. Sir Jorah pro proclaims Stannis of the House Baratheon innocent. I have no choice but to release him innocent. I disagree. Give me his hand. It must be a clear mistake. Throw him back to his cell. Oh, God damn it. Well, it looks like he's been found innocent by Sir Jorah Mormont. I have no choice but to release him. Let's do that then. Oh, dear. I must be with child again. Will my husband believe this? Uh, Jorah mustn't know, I guess. So I don't know who this child is going to be, but I think once we get one more bastard child, we'll leave it at that. I won't sleep with any more men except for Jorah, and we'll try and let that line out. Once Jorah and Daenerys have some more children, we'll probably get rid of Rhaegar and probably this other one and have another Rhaegar. It's just because, like I said, if Daenerys dies, we lose. The game ends. We need children. Okay, vacancy on the King's Guard. Let's try and bring in... Brendan the Blackfish. <laughs> Let's do that then. Let's put Blackfish on the King's Guard. Uh, hunt. Uh, I will order. Stand down. Stand down. Okay, so Robert Aaron is at war with someone. He's at war with a couple of people. Ah. Uh, um. Maybe I'll allow it for this just one time. Yeah, that's fine. Who's he at war with? Yeah. Right. Okay, we'll deal with all this later. Unfortunately, guys, it's time to end the first episode of the Daenerys Targaryen series here. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this series and would like to see more, the best thing you guys can do is leave a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section down below where you would like me to expand. Of course, what series you would like me to replace this with. Going to be uploading this as well uh, for the yeah, next couple of weeks, most definitely, throughout the new release of the season of Game of Thrones. So we're going to go through the council. We'll rejig all that stuff. I'll probably try and get one more child, and then I won't try and sleep with any more men. I want to try and get Jorah to impregnate Daenerys and let them have some children, fix up the council, fix up my military, um, yeah. So it looks like the Reach, the Stormlands, under Stannis, the Vale, the North and the, um, the Riverlands are sort of under my control. I'm probably going to have to deal with the Westerlands along with the Greyjoys, but Daenerys Targaryen currently sits the Iron Throne. We've also got all this to deal with in the the vast limit. Thanks guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, perhaps Crusader Kings 2, perhaps a Paradox or strategy game you haven't picked up yet, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. If you guys want to stay connected with me after this video on my social media links, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram are all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days you have to click the subscribe button and the bell to get all the notifications for the channel. Patreon and Steam group in the description below as well, along with the mod link. You can download and play along with me. Maybe you can play your own Daenerys Targaryen series. Maybe stay with Aegon. 
maybe fight in uh, the east. I didn't really want to do that because I kind of feel like the east sort of bores me. I want to focus on Westeros. We are now uh, the queen upon the Iron Throne. Thanks, guys. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. Goodbye. Really close cinematic shots here, pushing through the bridge. Oh, look at... <laughs> that was probably the shot of the video there.